Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Elinger from GameRats.com and I'm uh, back again giving you a couple of uh, Last of Us uh, tips. Uh, this is a particular sequence here, I think you're in the um, university and you drop in here and you run into, I think there's four clickers and one blower. Um, Maybe one more, I can't remember, but uh, I didn't, it's funny because I didn't actually notice the bloater until at the end, I didn't realize there even was one. Um, you can tell when you do the, the hearing x-ray thing that you can see the size difference, which I didn't really notice till I got surprised. I think I actually died the first time anyway because I didn't expect to see one there. But anyway, it looks like there's, like I said, there's four clickers and one bloater. Um, I think I gave a tip before, but you're going to want to always have a shiv on hand because again, that's the only way, if you want to do this really stealthily, that's uh, shivs, I guess, and the, and the upgraded melee weapons are, I think, the only way to kill them quietly, or else you're going to create a lot of noise, and uh, you know what happens after that. Basically, all hell breaks loose. I mean, it's doable, if you, but it's a big waste of ammo if you're going to want to do that. So, uh, my idea is to just try to be as stealth as possible. Well, obviously, I'm not looking to be perfect to try to stealth everything, but uh, ideally, you want to kill the majority of them using stealth. So, again, here, I always save... Uh, one shiv anyway because uh, not only for the clickers but also to to take out uh, at least to open up those shiv doors uh, which are pretty advantageous if you can because there's so much uh, loot to pick up so anyway back to this uh, again you know just kind of like my similar tips I've said before you really just be patient um, that's the hardest thing is and sometimes I got ADD I always check the uh, missing things but here I used the upgraded melee weapon um, I think I upgraded that axe to something else I can't remember what I did uh, I, I even remember this point where I, I thought maybe I made a mistake. I, I wasn't sure if I should have wasted it on that because I knew I only had uh, one attack left. But um, in this area, you're going to want to scope it out a little bit as well because there's tons of um, loot to pick up and, and uh, I guess craft items that will help you. If you're even if you're missing a ship, I think you can even find one to help build one or craft one afterwards. Um, but I think it's pretty obvious that you're going to want to take out the clickers first before you uh, take on the bloater. Um, that's just the smart way to go. And uh, here, I think I'm just trying to decide what I want to do here. Uh, you know, I think I decided to build a bomb. Uh, I figured I'd use that on the bloater because I didn't want to waste a lot of ammo. I remember my the previous attempt back at the the university. That was I used a lot of ammo there because I didn't have these kind of weapons. I think um, oh, actually speaking of that, if you're good with the air bow and arrow, you probably could stealth kill a lot of them with the bow and arrow shot to the head. Um, but generally, I kind of suck at the arrow, the uh, shooting with it, so I don't, just didn't even bother. I like sticking with the stealth using the um, a shiv from behind. Uh, I found that way more, works a lot better. Again, uh, and one thing I noticed too, if you look at uh, all, all the drawers you open up, you, it looks sometimes it appears that it's empty, but if you just change the angle of the view, there's actually items in there. I think I missed one of one or two previously that I opened up thinking that it was empty. But there's actually is an item there. Um, I'm trying to find. I think I rented this one somewhere here, uh, back in the room. Yeah, and also there's a few spots. There it is. See that that tape? I, I didn't need it anyway, but I, I actually missed that the first time. And then there's the scissors here, which I didn't even see. So, as always, like if you're patient, it, you know it comes to you. Just take your time. So um, at this point, I think I decided to have a couple shivs, and uh, I realized that there's only one clicker and uh, one bloater left. So uh, obviously here I'm just going to try to stealth kill the the clicker and uh, oh another another tip too is use this time to uh, kind of have a game plan already. You want to figure out which weapons you want to have on hand and then obviously you want to uh, I guess reload as well. So you don't want to get burned and pull it out and have realize that you never bothered reloading. So um, actually this is the second time I watched it. The first you'll notice here which I don't really get. So I, I get him here and I, I could have sworn I shoved him in the throat and. I don't know why he's still alive, actually, and he came at me, so I don't know if that, I just missed it or if that's a glitch, but I could have sworn that I killed him for a and again, I had to utilize the, the flamethrower to take him out. So I think, uh, ideally you want to stealth all of them, but anyway, I didn't, the last guy had to deal with the flamethrower, and I used the initial flamethrower here on the bloater at the start, because it was actually the first time I, I just got it recently, so I didn't really use it before, I wanted to see what it does. I think uh, it's really effective here, so I decided to use a flamethrower and then, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of dumb that I should have got out of the way knowing that they're going to throw those uh, spore things, but I decided to just uh, hit him with the bomb at the end. So here we go, and uh, that's pretty much it. It was funny, uh, that might have been overkill, I probably could have finished him off with either a bullet or a, even a melee attack, which I which I, I just think one of the commenters even asked about, uh, someone in the YouTube video commented about if, if how to do the melee kill, and there's an achievement for that. 
which I realized after the fact that like, maybe I could have got it there. But but anyway, I think uh, the bomb was a bit overkill, and, and it was funny because if you didn't look here, I'm kind of looking around thinking, uh, where is he? I didn't. Uh, I, I assumed he was still alive, and I guess I didn't realize that I just beat him there. So um, anyway, let's come to the end. So it's uh, like I said, pretty easy to do. Just you know, use some of the tips here. Hopefully it helps. Uh, if you have any other advice? Feel free to let me know in the comments. Again, this is uh, Evil Inger from GameRats.com. Talk to you later. Bye.